The Parrot and the Grasshopper Story Koa La is the name of a parrot. Its beak is both beautiful and flexible. It can peck in the grass very naturally. It found this green stick to be sweet and delicious, so after each meal it was full, it put the leftovers in a reserve. Soon the grasshoppers refused to accept their fate. They also want to live freely. So they rose up to protest. To fight against the common enemy, they secretly organized a, and planned specific actions. That day, Koa La's parrot hovered for a long time but couldn't catch any grasshoppers so he had to return hungry. The next day, still the same, Koa La parrots were forced to use food in the reserve. For the next few days, Koa La's parrot was completely unlucky. Food reserves are getting less and less. Looks like there's only one grasshopper claw left. Parrot Koa La wanted to save it but couldn't. He was hungry and couldn't sleep. If you don't eat, you can't sleep, he told himself. Finally, it ate the last of the grasshopper's claws. But what's the point of a grasshopper claw? His stomach rumbled all night. At dawn the next morning, Koa La parrots were forced to go looking for food. Because it was hungry, it was very weak. Whether walking or flying in the air, it felt exhausted. It had to rest under a tree. Suddenly, Koa La's parrot heard a strange sound. Bu chi chi. Dot. Sa chi chi. Dot. Bu chi chi. Dot. Sa chi chi. Dot. Dot. He thought maybe his stomach was growling loudly, just go to sleep, you will forget your hunger. B U Chi Chi Sa Chi Chi B U Chi Chi Sa Chi Chi That strange sound continued forever. The more Koa La Parrot listened, the more upset he became. He wanted to go somewhere else, but he saw the sky and earth getting darker. Oh, why can't we see anything? This must be my stomach roaring. It wants to take revenge on me because I haven't had anything to put in my stomach for a long time. At that time, Parrot Koa La saw a large cloud flying in front of him. Waiting for that cloud to come closer, Koa La Parrot looked closely and it turned out that the cloud was made up of many animals. While I was upset, those animals flew at me, some hit me, some kicked me, some pushed me, some bit me, causing my parrot to feel both pain and unbearable itching. Ah! Oh my god, that's a swarm of locusts! Koala parrot cried in surprise. That's right, the crowded locusts surrounded the koala parrot, making it clumsy and scared. To escape the encirclement, the Koa La Parrot was forced to jump from one place to another, from one branch to another. Jumping and jumping, its strength was exhausted and then with a pop, it fell from the tree. The Locust Alliance came up with that way. So what was the strange sound Parrot heard just now? It turns out that grasshoppers can both kick and fly. Because everyone was pedaling together, the serrated claws made the sound, bu chi chi, sa chi chi. They want to use that method to intimidate the enemy first. The grasshoppers are truly formidable. The army of grasshoppers saw the koa la parrot lying motionless, thinking it was dead so they dispersed. In fact, the koa la parrot just fainted. A few hours later, the cool afternoon wind blew and woke it up. At first it still seemed like a nightmare. All around was quiet, the more the parrot thought about it, the more sad it became. I don't know why today was so unlucky. His throat felt dry and he craved water. It crawled to a nearby stream to drink water. The moonlight reflects.
on the sparkling silver stream, just like a mirror. Koa le parrot looked at himself in the water. He was startled and didn't seem to recognize him anymore. His nose was blue and his eyes were haloed, so ugly. The grasshoppers are scary, Koala said to himself, but don't I have a beak that is both beautiful and flexible? Wasn't it natural to dissect grasshoppers before? Why didn't it work just now? From then on, every time parrots encounter grasshoppers, they do not dare to peck them. When hungry, it looks for a few blades of grass to eat or pecks soft fruit seeds to eat the kernels. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.